Hi, my name is Blaine Edwards. I wanted to do a quick tour of my four foot by eight foot Zenbot machine that I purchased a couple years ago. Overall, I have enjoyed this machine very much. I love the large cutting area on it. Um, as you can see, I did not buy all the upgraded options uh, for this machine. Uh, I built the table myself that it sits on. I also opted for a 2.2 kilowatt spindle, as you can see here. And I also opted to do all my own electronics. Uh, don't be scared of this rat's nest. Uh, I, I took it apart so I could uh, show the different pieces and parts on it. Uh, <clears throat> as you can see, I have all my stepper drivers in place and it, they're all connected to a, uh, a Gerbil control bore uh, that I built, I designed, and had manufactured myself. I uh, really like it. It has uh, the ability to do spindle control that I do not have hooked up right now. And it also has uh, X, Y, and Z axis, or limit switches on it as well. As you can see here on the side, I have uh, the ability to do uh, different controls for my machine, including the probe. Uh, so if you haven't used Gerbil before, it's a great option uh, as opposed to many of the other customized options that exist out there or even the standard options like Mach 3. So uh, I will do videos in the future about uh, how to use Gerbil and how to design for Gerbil. It's actually not much different than a lot of the other machines that uh, you might see. Uh, you can see my VFD control for my spindle and uh, it has worked out fairly well. Uh, at some point in time I will be reconnecting my spindle control from Gerbil uh, to, to my VFD. Uh, the entire system is run via a Raspberry Pi that does connect into my controller here. I use CNCJS, uh, which uh, it's a web-based uh, control so software. I really enjoy it. Uh, it's nice to be able to control my CNC machine right from my phone, which I can also give a demo of later on. So my cooling for my spindle uh, is just a five gallon bucket with a, with a pond pump in it uh, using some uh, vinyl tubing. Uh, this system is completely sealed, so no dirt can get inside. Uh, does it work? Yes, it does. Uh, is it as sophisticated as a chiller? Probably not, but uh, that is okay. Uh, with the cheapest Harbor Freight pond pump that you can find, you will keep your spindle cool. Uh, I'm using uh, about a 30-70 mixture of uh, water to antifreeze through my system. And so far so good. I haven't seen any corrosion. I, and like I said, it keeps my uh, pump, or my, excuse me, my spindle nice and cool. So uh, if you do have any questions about my machine, about what I have done to, to design it, um, I've seen that there are a couple new options out there, like uh, the vacuum hold down table. Uh, I may look at that in the future, haven't quite decided. But if you do have any questions or any comments regarding my machine, uh, I'd love to hear them.